finally make it over the border to Queensland, where we head to Ninnagalli Pub, stopping at Hebel for a look at the town and eating up a storm. Then on to Dhirambandi, free camping and eating pub meals. Then Thalam, free camping where we check out the hidden gem. Then on to the famous Nindagali pub, free camping, road trains, camp drafts and of course their pub food. As we hit the Queensland border, just some little stats along the way. This video from Hebel to Nindagali pub, we took 224 photos and 45 videos. We only stopped at Hebel to have a look around the town and to have a meal at the general store. We found out later that there was accommodation behind the general store at the caravan park. Unpowered is free and powered is $11 per night. You can't beat that for a good deal. You get use of the toilet and shower block too. Support a small town like this and stop by. Yeah. Our conversations always end up in a nosedive. Can't see it ending any differently this time around. Round, round, yeah. Let's take a second. <laughs> We are sick people. <laughs> Next we headed to Dhirambandi where we parked up the night along the high side of the creek at Blown Minor Campground. After seeing these amazing meals get served up the day before, we couldn't leave without popping into Dhiram Pub to try them for ourselves. It was well worth it. And of course Gil couldn't leave without popping into the local bakery. Here we are in Thelum. But see those caravans in the distance? We are trying to get over there. Unfortunately, we keep driving around trying to find out where the entrance is and how to get there to park up for the night. Not having much fun here. After a bit of four wheel driving and back streets, we finally found the spot. And this is a great one. We're camped here with this amazing view of the silos that also light up at night. We don't need to talk about it. There's nothing left for us to say. Now we knew how to get into the hidden gem as when we were looking how to get into the camp spot we travelled down this road off the beaten track. To the right it looks like you could camp along the creek. Not ideal for the caravan, it was too tight to get in but a tent or a rooftop tent would make it a lovely camp spot. Is it only me or does anyone else when they see a rundown homestead or a vehicle imagine what it would look like renovated or restored? Tip number one, getting lost. Some of life's hidden gems are off the beaten track so don't be scared to get lost or take a detour as you never know what gems you'll find. So many times the unplanned or things found when we got lost were worth the detours we took. Our conversations always end up in a nosedive Can't see it ending any differently this time Around, round, round, yeah Let's take a second We're in Thelen sure at the moment in Queensland right And we have just walked down that track We can drive down here Not a lot of clearance for Maybe the caravan might fit through, but it's a bit of a sharp turn here. 
Anyway, came down to what they call the hidden gem. There's a bridge down here, and on the bridge are paintings. Some murals. It'd be nice if they keep painting the other ones. They haven't got them all painted, but. And what's that? That's an old bridge. Of course, us wearing our walking shoes. Do you reckon you could have got around with the caravan? It's a bit of a sharp turn. Yeah. So, I don't know if you come down here in winter because of the creek, but if you, if you had a rooftop tent or something or that, you could park over there. We arrived at the famous Nindigully pub on a weekend that we got more than what was expected as there was a Nindigully camp draft held right next door and the road trains were coming and going out of the camp area all weekend. It was an amazing sight. Here we are with tip number two. Check ahead for events. If you check ahead to see if there's any events on at the location you plan to stay at, then you can see if you want to go. Events can affect availability of camping spots, prices, and even if you want to be there or not. We were lucky, we didn't check the events, but we were lucky that we love seeing the trucks and who doesn't love a cowboy on a horse? Conversations always end up in a nose dive. Can't see it ending any differently this time around. Round, round, yeah. Let's take a second, make sure we're on the right track before we say something that we both know we can't take back. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, ground at. In the gully. Mm. Behind the pub, place. it is huge. There is Tip number three, the best camp spot. Now, this one we have learnt and experienced many times. What you think is the best spot, or away from other campers, can turn out to be where the most amount of traffic is, or whether, without sounding nasty, other campers decide to park on your doorstep. We don't mind people parking close to us. We just tend to park away from people because we can be a little bit noisy at night. And when recording and editing, we need the quiet. So that's why we tend to park away from people. We 
don't need to talk about it. There's nothing left for us to say. Too many thoughts around us. All these words are always in our way. Look underneath. Oh, yeah. I've never seen so many. Hello. <laughs> Didn't go the right way. To wrap up this video, we hope you liked our tips that we have along the way. We learn these things in each location or over our experience, so we, we like to share them with you. All four locations that we went to, Hebel, Dhirambandi, Thelham and the Nindigali pub, which is in Thelham, all have free camping. You can't go wrong, stop in a small town, stay in the night or two and having a drink or a meal along the way. Small towns usually have a lot of character and history and the people tend to be friendly. It would be a shame for them not to be available for not only the locals, but for travellers like us. So to stay alive and open, they need our support. So just like us, small businesses and country towns rely on people for livelihood and it's got harder, especially over the past few years. So next year in 2024, we're opening up our Buddies program where we help out small businesses for free to give them a hand up as we travel our way around Australia. So in January, we'll let you know what state we're going to be in. I hope to see you along on our journey. So please subscribe to help us and so we can also help others. Bye for now. Next week, come along as we leave Nindigali Pub and head to St George to pick up a parcel and get our car serviced. Had the car in for a service and um, they're not overly happy. Stopped off at Surat and played with the fish at the Cobham Co changing station before heading to Roma where we checked out the largest cattle sale yard and what the town has to offer. Also grab our tips along the way. You would take my breath and I can't get it back Might be time for me to face the facts The best me is with you but I know I got a lot to prove